When we um, founded Ecoso Callan in 2004, it wasn't some sort of grand vision or, or business plan. It came um, as really as a result of a conversations that we'd had whilst I was living in the US and planning to come back to the UK and thinking about what I might do when I did that. We've always been driven by a desire to merge engineering excellence with architectural ambition. But of course, we also wanted to build a successful business. But the scale we reached today wasn't necessarily planned. It evolved naturally. But what hasn't changed is our core philosophy. There was ever really a single moment that set on our path when we set up EOC and started up. We were faced with growing a small business and managing a significant client, Apple. Managing a client with ambitious global plan meant we needed to be agile enough to support them wherever they were going. Through its experience, we knew that we wanted to take advantage of this global market, and that's been a really enriching part of what we've done for the last 20 years. At the same time, we knew that our modest scale could really maintain a close relationship with our projects. The Apple projects, Fifth Avenue, Zorlu in Istanbul, the Steve Jobs Theatre, were huge turning points for us. They put us on the map globally, and then in 2011, when we set about Facade Group, it was another major stepping stone for us, and it broadened our expertise beyond structural engineering and allowed us to push other boundaries. As we've grown, so is the scope of our work, and our involvement in adaptive reuse and sustainability is expanding significantly. Our education buildings, such as Keble College Oxford and London South Bank University, are great examples of clever adaptive reuse in both structure and facade engineering. The Queen's College Library in Oxford and Lincoln's Inn in London are both large underground buildings connecting to very sensitive historic structures. And the UNESCO headquarters in Paris was a particularly proud moment for us. And that was restoring an iconic modernist facade with the same sensitivity that you bring to a historic building. And then of course, there's timber from Vitsu to the black and white building. We've been pioneering its use in ways that feel quite revolutionary. And now we're seeing years of development come to life with Atlassian Central in Sydney, which is a 45 story timber hybrid tower. And we worked with them from concept to detailed design as both structural engineers and facade engineers. And when complete, it'll be the tallest timber hybrid structure in the world. And it's now been on site for two and a half years. Uh, it has another one and a half more to go before it's complete. And we're really incredibly excited to see that come to fruition. Also in Sydney, when we first set up our office, we were fortunate enough to be part of a team that won the competition for the new cycle path access to the Harbour Bridge, which is a real privilege to be involved with such an iconic structure approaching its centenary. That project's currently on site and is slated to be finished this year. Despite all this, expansion was never a conscious strategy and really it happened through embracing opportunities. Our global offices are all led by people of highly skilled engineers with their own particular specialism. And they are supported by our own global network of expertise across EOC with a comprehensive knowledge of the supply chains, which is pretty unusual, if not unique, for a company of our size. What makes it work is that we stay involved. Leadership isn't distant. We're close to the details of every project from conception to completion. And that ensures that our culture approach remains strong no matter where the project is. A big shift for us has been the role of sustainability and digital innovation. So we've invested heavily in digital tools to optimize design and to help us make smarter decisions. The urgency of climate change has shaped everything we do. And we're constantly looking at how we can push boundaries, whether that's with glass, timber, or the reuse strategies we've talked about earlier. Atlassian Central is a prime example of that forward thinking approach. At the end of the day, it all comes down to people. We've grown to over 100 in London, with 60 more spread across our global offices, representing over 30 nationalities. Lots of incredibly smart, technically brilliant people with curious minds about how we can make buildings better. We've always thrived on ambitious projects where our expertise is valued, and that's what will keep driving us forward. In another 20 years, I see us bigger, but still true to our values. We'll be working all over the world, hopefully led by some of the young engineers who are here with us today. And we can't wait to see where the next two decades takes us. <laughs>